guys, welcome to my channel. This is Gaming with Graham. Alright guys, I have two appointments today. I have one at 10 a.m. and I have another one at 2.20 p.m. today. The first one is a hearing test and then the second one has to do with Mirnaire's disease. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this second appointment's going to be. Um, and I haven't done a hearing test since I was in high school. So, uh, it's going to be kind of weird because I've never really remembered doing one. Um, but I know my parents had to have my hearing test, my eyes checked, all that good junk. Um, thankfully my mom and dad always made sure our medical, uh, was taken care of. Um, I was the only family member that was diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar. None of my family members had schizophrenia and bipolar. Um, now, my schizophrenia is different from most people suffering from schizophrenia. Mine is hearing voices and seeing things. Um, I would see things that weren't there. Um, I was at, I was working at a restaurant and I was literally seat seating families and thinking that they were actually, you know, regular people. And they weren't. They weren't even there. There was no one there. So, um, yeah, after a while, my uh, boss at the restaurant told me that, you know, they had to let me go. Um, and I knew exactly why they were letting me go. Um, I didn't even have to question it. But I started working at Burger King in 2008. And, you know, everybody got along with me. Everything was good until I mentioned I had schizophrenia and bipolar. Uh, as soon as I said that, they literally got rid of me, like, as quick as they could. The next three days later, I got, they let me go. I didn't, I didn't want to go into great detail and be like, well, why are you firing me or why are you letting me go? Um, I figured it was just, it wasn't the fact I mentioned it. It was just the fact of they didn't need me anymore. They replaced me with somebody else. So I never questioned any time when I got, you know, there was only two jobs I got released from um, my whole life. Uh, the only one that I remember getting fired from was McDonald's. When a guy came in with a shotgun, had it pointed right at my face and asked for the register. So what did I do? I literally thought he meant he wanted the register. So I literally picked up the register and threw it at him. Wires and all. Um, and knocked him out and the cops were able to come and subdue him. Um, but I got fired for it because they said I wrecked equipment. I said, wait. You guys are firing me because I saved all your butts. And yeah, I got fired for that job. And when I told my dad what happened, my dad went up to McDonald's and he literally reamed the manager in one ear and out the other. And I was like, why did you do that? And he says, no one's going to fire my daughter without a reason. And their reason was the equipment would cost more than getting robbed. Uh, <laughs> so it was really weird. But that was actually the only place I actually got fired from. Um, usually, you know, if I got a job and I was working and they just literally just say, you know, we've already filled the position, we're going to let you go, you know, stuff like that. But I was never fired. I was only fired from one job and that was McDonald's. I mean, I was 16, and when the shotgun is pointed at your face, and you're just like, uh, what do I do? You know, and I don't know what my response was, but he said, give me the register. So I literally did. I gave him the register. <laughs> yeah, I when I picked up the register, you could hear the cable snapping, and they literally couldn't understand how in the world I could lift that thing out of the uh, brackets that was holding it in. I don't even know how I did it. All I know is I was able to pick it up and throw it at him. Um, so I don't know if I had super strength or, you know, 
I don't know. But my first test is a hearing test. And then after that, I go to the regular ears, nose, and throat specialist. And he's going to let me know how I did on the hearing test. And I'm hoping I pass it, I mean, with flying colors. Um, because since I've been taking the vertigo medicine, it has helped my improving a great deal. Like, I used to have my TV on 25 to like 30 because I couldn't hear it. And when I talked to my family members, I would literally scream because I couldn't hear. Um, so when I went to the hospital, they also said that I was screaming, um, which I couldn't, I couldn't hear. And the thing is, is when I was having problems with my ear, they never suspected I had vertigo. And I told them the room is spinning, blah, 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 but... I don't know why they didn't think of it that way. I just, yeah, whatever. It's in the past. But I'm looking forward to getting this done and figure out what we can do next. Um, so I will keep you guys posted. And you guys have a fantastic Monday. It is sunny out here in Chicago. Uh, it's supposed to be a high in the 60s, low 40s. So uh, we'll see how the day goes. So I will keep you guys posted. I will post another video if I remember. Because a lot of times I'm doing stuff and I totally forget. Um, but my dog's coming today. My little wiener dog. Um, so I'll probably be playing with that for a little while. That'll keep me company for a little bit. Uh, it might even cheer me up. Uh, especially if, you know, I find out bad news or whatever, you know. But I'll keep you guys posted. I'll try to post another video later today. If not, I will tomorrow. Um, I really want to do uh, a game um, either today or tomorrow of the new Jumaji game that I got. I want you guys to see the uh, gameplay of it. Um, also, um, I want to be able to, to do um, VR for you guys. You know, VR games and that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet, um, because I know I got to be facing the camera for the PS4 for it to see me, but, um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. This is Grandma signing out. Adios amigos. Doses. I'm out.